And what are you wearing now? Uh, not 200 anymore. No. <laughs> secret. <laughs> Keep it secret. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. 199.9. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One of the toughest strong men in history, right here. Hi guys, welcome to the Giants Live podcast. <coughs> I'm joined today by Evan Singleton, Ian Bibby and Luke Richardson. Uh, these guys have got one thing in common, which is uh, competing in Birmingham this weekend. So we've got the guys along to see how they feel, how preparations have been and what are the plans for the up and coming weekend. Um, yeah, how, how are you all feeling? All feeling good and ready, supercharged? Oh yeah, feeling really good. Spent this past week, once I got here in Borough Bridge, just been resting, recovering, doing everything I can to get my mind right, getting the body feeling good, resting up and getting ready for game day. Brilliant, brilliant. Yeah. And you all last show, uh, show Classic? Yes. And then before that, you were at the... Strongman Classic. Strongman Classic, yeah. Mm -hmm. So how's your year been so far since well, so you're obviously your third at World's Strongest Man? Mm -hmm. How are you feeling? Everything's going? Um, this season so far has been a bit of a roller coaster. It had its peaks and valleys. It was a really good start with World's Strongest Man, getting my first podium, um, feeling like I'm constantly making progress in that style of competition being over multiple days. Um, and the progress has built my confidence up a lot that next year I could really push for that title, my first title. Um, and then I went to the Strongman Classic and had to pull out after the first event. The Axel Queen and Press just tweaked a little something in my adductor, and I wanted to make sure that I was fit for the rest of the season because uh, I have m the rest of the Giants live shows. I had the Shaw Classic coming up. I have the Rogue, and I really wanted to make sure that I was able to compete in everything. So I, I did what was best for my body at that time, and I decided to cut that competition short. So that's when kind of went into a valley a little bit. Um, Shaw Classic had its good and its bad. Uh, I ended up coming sixth overall. Uh, wasn't the placing that I was wanting or trained for, but that's how strongman goes. Sometimes it goes your way, sometimes it doesn't. But now I'm back in England and I'm getting ready for the Open and I'm feeling really, really strong. These are good, solid events for me. And head's right, body's right, feeling good, feeling ready. Cool. And after your injury, you got back in the gym pretty quick, didn't you? So it wasn't anything major. It was just obviously when you're injured, uh, sure, you, 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 you sort of stuffed out, you really? Yeah, yeah. I was really, really concerned. There was a very small amount of bruising on the inside of my hamstring, and I was very, very concerned that I may have uh, torn something in my leg, uh, hamstring, adductor, something. I wasn't able to walk for the rest of that night, and I was limping around for like the next day or two, especially when I flew back in the airport. And it was, it was very, very concerning initially, but... Uh, as the days progressed, I started doing all of my rehabbing. I was taking my peptides to make sure nothing was nothing was hurt. And I had it looked at by two different professionals, and they said that there was no tearing of any kind, so that was good. And that pretty much built my confidence back enough to start getting back into training and getting ready for the shawl. And thankfully, everything held together, and I came out of the shawl unscathed, which was my favorite part of the show. Brilliant. <laughs> Brilliant. So, Bibby, how are you feeling? Another, another Log World Championships? Y yes, uh, I'm, feeling I'm feeling good. good. Yes, I had a uh, good training, you know, and uh, I feel stronger than uh, last year. Wow, that's that's cool. And and uh, what was your final log press? I think it was 209, was it, for reps? Yes, in training I did uh, 209, four reps, two sets. Wow. So, like you said, uh, I don't try to break any records at home. No. I'd rather come here and uh, do a big lift. On a big day. But 209 for two sets of four must put you in contention to break that 230. Yes, you know, it gave me a maximum of 230 plus. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's competition. I need to come, uh, you know, very focused just so I can perform well. Yeah, brilliant. And, uh, I mean, who do we think? Obviously, there's some big presses in there as well. Who do we think is going to challenge? Well, can anyone challenge? <laughs> I think Bibby is kind of going to be a standalone but as he yeah. usually is every Agreed, single year yeah. on his own. Yeah. Um, yes. I, don't, I don't think we've ever seen anybody with Bibby's level of pressing strength. I think you've got to give him his flowers, aren't you? He does stuff that you see it online. And then when he comes over and you see it in the gym in person, 
you know, you've been around strong people your entire life, and then this guy walks in and he just bends reality in front of your eyes. It's absolutely ridiculous. Yeah. Um, but I do think a uh, client of mine, Andre Foytu, he mm-hmm. logged 210 for a double in trading. I think he'll be up around 210, 220 on the day. Uh, I'd expect Mitch to be around that. I think 210 is going to be like very, very competitive points in the overall <coughs> I, show. I, I was sort of thinking about it last night. Like, you know, sad man laid in bed thinking about strong man. And I think, unlike other shows, obviously we've had some log world championships that have ended quite low. Just that, just that, you know, some years it's like that. I think there's going to be five people trying 210 kilos. I'd agree. Yeah, I'd agree. I, I imagine at least. Yeah, yeah, at I, least, yeah. I think Andrew will do. I think Andrew will do 210. I think Mitch will do 210. I think Evan could do 210. I think I could give it a good go as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, Maxime, I'm, I'm not sure about. What the other guys pressing is like, but I know Maxine's been up around them numbers as well. Um, but yeah, I think last and then Mitch as well, obviously. You think but Luke is fit? Stop Luke, him. Luke's not doing it. Luke's, Luke's not doing this. Oh, good. Okay, okay. Yeah. never mind. This guy. Wake up, Evan. I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, Luke's Luke's coming back for Vegas. Yeah, Vegas. Show. Oh, That's okay. good. But no, I think in Glasgow last year, two hundred was the real like banker points. Mm. Whereas I think this year it could actually maybe be two ten with the kind of strength and depth of the field. I think that two hundred might. You know, it might be a tied third, and then you know, two ten maybe will be where. Which is massive in itself when you think yeah. about it. It's a bit like, you know, people always looking at the five hundred one or five hundred and five hundred five deadlift and the two thirty log, but it's got massive depth at each show. It's like I remember one year with the deadlift when loads of people pulled a thousand pound, including mm-hmm. yourself, mm-hmm. and all of a sudden the thousand pound pulls went from like twelve to like twenty odd yes. in one night. And I think that this is the same with the log. I think you've got the the widest range of big presses over 200 kilos exactly. ever together i think the one show yes i'm not saying there's not people out there that there is people that can do 200 but in one place on mm. saturday i think there's going to be yeah it's yeah. going to be hard to, obviously bibby's just competing as a guest in the log but to win the log in the actual show as in the competition for the rest of the show that's going to be quite difficult oh yeah well that's the thing it was as of old it was kind of like you need to be pressing 210, 220 to get an invite to the World Loglift Championships and now the World Loglift Championships is just the start of the show and you need 210, 220 to get good points it just shows kind of the progression there it's the same as the deadlift it would probably be quite an interesting start the same way you did with the £1,000 if it was like how many people have actually logged 200 kilo plus in the same competition on the same day it's probably going to break some sort of a record <laughs> I think so yeah so. and also like obviously Bibby's always won the log we, like I said we take that for granted really mm-hmm. now um, and whoever wins the log in the actual show, as in takes the points, usually could get away with doing sometimes not even 200 kilos. Mm. Exactly. I guarantee it won't be that this year. No. I guarantee someone's got to do at least 210, maybe even 220 to, to get up there. Yeah, yeah. No, I Which agree. is. Uh, the thing with the log from 210 to 220 is a different story. Massive. Yeah. And from 220 and more like. <laughs> I remember when uh, I did uh, in 2018, you know, I tried uh, 230 with Ariel. I was able to clean it. And then I came back 2019 to 29. It was like, you know, pretty much like even heavier than the 230, you know. Yeah. The logger uh, is very difficult thing when it's super heavy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, it's it's... I think just the clean alone at 2.30, you've got to have some power on you to be able to do it, you know? Exactly, yeah. And use a less arm, less like arm, you always yeah. tell me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's well, hard you... for me because, you know, I have, like, uh, decent arms. So, <laughs> you know, <laughs> we were, we were talking. It's my way when I try to clean, you know? Originally, Bibby, when he first came over to train with us, he'd literally just do, like, this bicep curl with the log. Well, what other way would you do it? <laughs> well, exactly. <laughs> 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 we'd be trying to get him to, to just sit nice and low and just turn the log over and use yeah. use his body to roll it up roll it, yeah. um, which is putting less strain on the biceps you know but uh, you're, you're evolving aren't you so that's all it's good, <laughs> it's good. I'm learning I'm learning yeah so Luke the future Richardson oh god can we still call you that <laughs> We have to, I need a re- when, I when need we a re- <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I thought we agreed to start calling you the past no yeah. not yet <laughs> not yet <laughs> so it's your first show back really 
you did England's Strongest Man, but you you didn't do all the events because obviously you didn't you you did it as a trial run, didn't you? Yeah. you? Didn't do the stones, I believe. The deadlift. The deadlift. I that was it. Stones, yeah. 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 Obviously, England's in June. I was still like five months after having my proximal hamstring reattached to my body. It was a big surgery. That it was probably my big, biggest surgery I've had yet, and I've had a few. So mm. yeah, I, I, hopefully, I finish with the biggest one now, and then that's me. Um, I won't. I, I won't really in shape for England, to be honest. No. I, had a, I had a few touch up sessions, and I kind of knew. I knew I could be there and I could be mixing up for the lads who were trying to win because obviously, you know, I'm, I'm all right and strong, man, you know what I mean? And I think when I'm in shape, you know, when I came back and did England's in 2023, that was kind of a bit of a, that was a bit of a look at kind of the athlete that I've become at least over the last two years that I'd been out from an international competition. I think I won England's last year by like, you know, I'd won it by the last year yeah, pretty yeah. much. So, yeah, I mean, my body feels good now. Obviously, my deadlift and stuff still is in the shape that, it has been in before, but it'd be it'd be ridiculous to think that it would be mm. kind of seven months after an operation like that. But my logs felt great. My deadlift does feel good. I had my last session with Bibby uh, exactly. last week and did 330 for five pretty easy. Yeah. So if I can get back on 350, it'll be the heaviest I've gone since my operation. Uh, back toss, I'm good. Uh, like I say, arm over arm, I I was able to go test that with Gauss, mm. so I've got a bit of a better idea for how that's going to feel. And then Power says is always a decent event for me as well. So, And I, did, I put you on my list of tr- at least trying a 210 log, by the way. Yeah, you know, yeah. People. I, think you'll, I think you'll do 200 and, you know, have a good go at 210, looking yeah. at your last couple of workouts. I, I think with how logs felt the last few sessions, the one night that I did in your gym on that log, like, you could have put two, 200 on straight after, yeah. I think I'd have done it, and then... My tape session, I did a 160, and it's just like when you're getting ready for a comp and you feel exactly. good, you feel it in the rack, and you can't feel the weight, and then yeah. you press it, and there's just no resistance. I feel, I feel, I feel pretty good to be yeah. honest. I'd, I'd still say I'm not, I'm not 100 percent yet, just because I know kind of what I was uh, before Britain's Strongest Man at the start of this year. I felt fantastic for that, but you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not coming to be a pushover. You know, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be up there. <coughs> well, and it's a big lineup as well, so yeah. you, you get to see where you are at least against these guys. Hell of a lot of well, world strongest man winners in there and finalists. So yeah, it'd be, it'd be nice to test myself, obviously, against because I haven't done an international really. The, my last full on international was world strongest man twenty twenty. Yeah, um, because I went out of twenty twenty one worlds in the first event, uh, <laughs> which was fun. Um, but yeah, it's kind of the first time we're back in the mix. I ain't competed with Mitch yet because obviously he's come out of absolutely nowhere and just decided to start destroying everybody. Yeah. Um, so it'll be my first time competing with him, obviously. I don't think I've actually competed against Evan before. We've been in the same comp for Worlds and stuff, but obviously not in the same heat, probably because you know, one is in the same heat. Yeah. <laughs> because of him. Um, and then obviously all the other lads as well, you know, this, you know, Nova Cobbs won Worlds and. You know, Maxime Boudreau, I think he couldn't have asked for a better centre set of events. If you had to have a deadlift in there, throw in log, power stairs, he won in the final at twenty twenty two. Be interesting to see him back. His training um, looks quite good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then his arm over arm as well. I think he won arm over arm at Shaw last year, didn't he? Not yep. this year, but last year. So yep. yeah, really good events for Maxime and then obviously Ivers with the power stairs. It's it's just one of them comps with the internationals, it's quite fun because because it's so competitive now. I think that this show specifically with the bag toss with the truck pull and with the power stairs, you're probably going to have a second or two that's going to separate probably like mm-hmm. four or five points. Mm-hmm. So if you do get the wrong side of a point split on more than one event, you can be in real trouble. So yeah, it'd be good. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, cool. And and what's your hopes for this show then? Have you got a, something in the back of your mind you want to do? Is there like a minimum? Yeah, I've, I've, I've got like my individual expectations for each event that I'd like to do kind of at this stage coming back. Um, I'd be really disappointed if I didn't log 200 of this comp mm-hmm. because of how it's been feeling in training. If I could get if I could get six reps on the deadlift, I think that'd be good for me coming back. I think that six reps will probably be the upper end of the tied points. Um, yeah. I think the guys like Evan, I think Mitchell will win the deadlift quite comfortably, but I think Evan could go over six. Um, and then bag toss, my bag toss in training, I can kind of go out cold and launch them all over in one go and I've, I've rehearsed that really well it's more about just getting in a flow with that innit? it's more dance than anything it's kind of the same with the power stairs as well you kind of get in a step don't you like one two three and then you like jumping back and stuff but yeah i think i i think i'm capable of podiuming to be honest with how i feel i might be underselling the lads in the lineup i don't think i am because i'm pretty honest to be honest but i think that the lowest I, I think I'll place is if I have a bad day is maybe like sixth, maybe okay. fifth or sixth. But I think I could definitely get on the podium. <laughs> It'd be nice to see you just get out and have a good run at it, all the events, you know what I mean? And just uh, get some dust off, I suppose. Yeah, I mean, regardless of how you look at it, the, 
you know on how I do with my event performance is if I don't get hurt it's a positive at this stage yeah, isn't it? so it'll be a bonus <laughs> <laughs> and with these events I sort of feel like they're quite good events coming back after injury you know there's nothing you know I, I don't want to sort of tempt fate but you don't see many people getting injured in these specific events we haven't got out of the stones we haven't got things like tyre flip mm. we haven't got axle press Thank God. You know the real the real danger ones. Well, it's true that the danger ones are in yeah, here. Yeah. Power stairs. I don't know. It's not a big the, injury one. There's a level of predictability with everything in there. It's mm. not like there's any awkward implements and stuff in there. Like at Worlds, you get like some of the, you know, and the different loading medleys and things like that. Like this is kind of bog standard. If you've done it in the gym, it's going to be. It's going to be the same. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So, no, it's a good one to come back to. I think I'm still definitely building for starting again next year fresh yeah. and kind of been like you know i want to be pushing top five you know podium at worlds next year i felt like that's the shape i was getting myself into at the start of this year and i feel like i can still do it you know i've still got that belief in my myself despite everything that's kind of all the chunks and lumps that have been taken out of me but yeah we'll just see how we go building towards next year but i think yeah it'll be a good show this is my first big one back i'm looking forward to it and we're over in birmingham it's gone really well for us as a company like Obviously, it's the first year there, mm. um, and it's and it's getting there. I mean, it's almost sold out. There's a few more tickets left. Obviously, it's on live stream on official Strongman as well. I think a lot of people are going to tune into that to see not only the log championships, but who will win this. So, I mean, Evan, how many giant slides have you won? Is a question there on the, on the bit of paper in front of us. I am six right now. Six, yep. and I think is the most Thor. Is that right? Thor, I believe, has nine. So right, yeah, okay. I'm I'm right right at Thor's heels. I think right now I'm tied with Big Z. So is can, that sorry? Is that six including the team show? Yeah, does that count? Well, yeah, I asked you, I asked you, and you said it counts. <laughs> oh, you got, you've got a trophy, so yeah, it, it the first place on it. So yeah, yeah. So that'll be yeah. I, if I can go out uh, this weekend and have a really good show, this will put me at seven. So Evan, six Giants live wins. Um, obviously, brilliant performance at Worlds. You were pipped by Tom. And Mitch Hooper, which like you know, if you're gonna get beat, they're the two guys, you know, you don't mind getting beat by. But mm -hmm. obviously, you've got Hooper in this show, who's who's been very dominant, probably the most dominant person we've ever seen, actually, to be fair, across a, the range of shows. I think we'd said he'd like 18 podiums in a row, basically. Mm -hmm. um, you know, how how do you feel about that? Um, do you think these events suit you? Do they suit him? Um, if he's able to transfer his ability to axle clean and press over to the log and have that same explosiveness, especially with his split jerking technique, um, he's definitely going to be a contender to take down uh, in the log press when it comes to people actually doing the entire show. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it, it, it's it's a multi answer. Uh, to that question, I would say that first of all, um, I've beaten Mitch already. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I'm I'm completely 100% positive that I can do it again. I don't see people as unbeatable. I don't see anybody as unbeatable. No, I mean you beat you beat Mitch and Tom before within the last year. Yep, uh, and it's all it's all event. Uh, you know, the, the horses for courses, isn't it? Yeah, yep. but I think really with the log i don't know what you guys think i don't think the split jerk technique works quite as well on a log as it does an axle obviously no, i think the bigger circumference of the log means you can't dip as far don't it so yeah i get that same amount of leg drive so i think i don't think he's gonna split jerk the log i think he will push press it but yeah i mean he's still i think he did a 213 in training didn't he i think the thing with mitch is, is that he's kind of just like but i think these are these are a weird set of events like we said before with things like bag toss and truck pull mm -hmm. and power stairs it really could be like kind of world strongest man final deal like on the truck pull there yeah. uh, i think the year that mitch won it it was like two seconds for you know yeah. seven points and i think this could be exactly the same so it kind of is you know if you're in the same competition it doesn't matter who you are if you're in a, if you're in the competition you, you can win it do you know what i mean obviously Definitely. within your means life you can consist them throughout like not not anybody can win this thing do you know what i mean but yeah i think these events it kind of serves up a bit of a It'd be interesting to see kind of how it unfolds. I mean, I think, obviously, we're talking about the, the fact that the split jerk don't work as well. Mm. But then last year, um, it, it wasn't a proper split jerk, but there was a, it was sort of a half a half attempt at it. And he, he almost got 2.10, I think, last year. Yeah. Or yeah. did he get it? I don't think no, he got he, it. He gave 2.10 a good go. Yeah. yeah. I got but I think he's stronger now. 
Oh, oh yes. You know. Yeah, definitely. So you've got to almost picture that he's going to get 210. Mm-hmm. Which, That's what I have in my head. Is yeah. He's one of the, when it comes to the full comp, uh, he's one of the people that I can see hitting 210, and that's just the reality of me. I, okay, well, I got to go out there, and I have to go give 210 a solid solid push, too. And I think it's there for me. I really do. My training's been going really well with Law. Well, so. we, we know he's good at deadlift. Yeah. Um, I think he's going to be good at arm over arm because he's very explosive. He's very fast mm-hmm. at getting back yeah. up to the rope. Um, power stairs, he's not been particularly bad at it, I don't think. I don't think he's, he's won it, but he's, he's pretty good at power stairs. I think that's the thing with Mitch, wherever the... There's a competitive line, isn't there? Say at this comp, it's a 200 kilo log. It's not like you need to be destroying everybody to get good points. You need to be just above the competitive line. And yeah. As far as I'm aware, there isn't an event where he isn't the right side of that line mm. in terms of like getting big points. I think, and another thing I've noticed with Mitch as well, the only time I actually think I've seen him make a mistake was at Glasgow last year yeah. on that steeplechase. We fell over, yeah, because yeah. he was going so fast. And he, yeah, because he was going <laughs> so fast and he knew he had to beat Tom. I think that is literally the only time... I've ever seen him do something where it didn't maybe go to the plan. He's so yet. consistent. I mean, look at the Shaw Classic. Aye. I mean, I, I know that Thor won most of the events. He was like five. Yeah. Mm. What is that, our eight events? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Hooper still wins the show because he's just there mm. all the time, um, which is what it's all about, I suppose. Yeah, consistency but, uh, is the key to winning in Strongman. Exactly. Cool. Um, so, Bibby, yeah. obviously, back again to to go for this world record exactly <clears throat> obviously me and you spend a lot of time together you, you know you, you're over here quite a lot so we talk a lot on a personal note about what's going on back at home and exactly what i don't think a lot of guys understand is like we're very lucky with physiotherapy massage therapy getting all of the protein powders the equipment you know you, you don't really have that no. in Burkina faso no you remember one time you tried to ship me some uh Protein. No, it's creatine. Yeah. Creatine. Yeah. He never came never through. Come, no, no. Yeah, so I don't get uh, to have all those things. No. So pretty much when I'm back home, it's like work and yeah. trying to be safe. And uh, with my training, I need to be very careful because let's say if you have injury, like no one will be there to take care of you. And you'd have to fly out the country you have to, to be able fly to get out fixed. To get fixed. So Whereas we're even here where we sat now, there's like four hospitals within yes, thirty minutes. Yes. So <laughs> yeah. that's why many people like ask why baby is not doing full shows. Like when you met me, I used to do full shows. Mm. But back then I, I was living in Canada so I had uh, everything, you know, to be able to prep. But uh, this time is different. I need to be there for my family. And, uh, you know, it is difficult, but it's a blessing. I'm trying to do what I can to push the sport to. I think it's very easy for people to criticize sat there in like a great situation. Exactly, exactly. You know, it, it's, it's a different... Most, most criticism comes from making the rents really, doesn't Definitely, it? Definitely, yeah. Know what I mean? yeah right. get, um, if everyone's got Google, Google what's going on over there, and then you'll see if they yeah. put themselves in that position. And a lot of people have always said to me, well, why don't we do full shows? You've done loads of full shows for us. Exactly, you know, yes. Um, and I will be there in Vegas. Yeah, so full show in Vegas? Of course, and I will be prepping here with Brilliant. you. Yeah, you cool, know. maybe. So, uh, and when he does do a full show, he does well. He probably like, oh, yeah. I mean, like, yeah. he, he didn't do the stones uh, yes. at all, did he? And he still... Yeah. I mean, I think... I, I, we don't want to sort of uh, knock everybody. I think a lot of people just want to see you do well. Do exactly. you know what I mean? I think that's what it yeah, is. And why is he doing this? Why is he doing that? I think it's positive, you know. But the reality of it is, not everything's quite as straightforward as it looks sometimes we're very lucky with the countries we live in exactly um so as far as equipment's concerned now you've got you're getting there with it are you getting a lot of the stuff made yeah, and i'm trying to make my own stuff and uh honestly i'm feeling more stronger yeah yeah i'm oh. feeling very strong compared to last year and uh and what are you weighing now uh, not 200 anymore. No. <laughs> Keep it secret. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. 199.9. Did you you weigh it? Did you weigh it? He came to the gym and he went, I weigh myself. But I think it's a good thing. I think he gets a bit embarrassed. But he, he came to the gym and he was like, I feel 180 kilos. And he was like, can I weigh myself on the scales? I said, yeah, I think. Just I, 20 I, kilos I, now. Yeah. <laughs> but, but he weighed 199.9. Yeah, it's not 200. But if you weigh 199.9, you, said but you feel 180, 
Yeah, yeah, man, yeah. I really like, feel light. And you know, I was like 215 well, before. Can I, can I just tell you, like, okay. 199.9 is 200. No, no way. <laughs> I like it. I, just, <laughs> I said that and he got very upset. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tread yeah. lightly. Point yeah. one of a kilo yeah. under. <laughs> yeah, okay. But I think I lost two kilograms. Though. I've been yeah, doing cardio, yeah, right? Yeah. We did like 30 minute walk together. But his, sure. de- his deadlift, sure. his deadlift <laughs> looks absolutely unbelievable. I think you, yeah. can see, you can see when he's come down from 215 now. I, when you see when you see Bibby in person walking around the gym, it just doesn't make sense. I don't think a lot of it until you see him in person. Yeah, he's like with his shoulders and his arms and stuff. But whereas he was two, <laughs> it looks like the two fifteen, the fifteen kilos, just gone off his belly, which is yeah. why he can deadlift now. His deadlifts yeah, the other day I can were bend more. Oh, I saw him. Yeah, I know yeah. they're only like three thirty, but they look like two hundred kilos. Right. Yeah, and I think I'm excited to see what you do at the World Deadlift Championships Me as too. well. Yeah, yeah, my, yeah, my goal is. Uh, Thousand, thousand pounds. Yeah, and I think you do we'll that. Go easy. from there. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Step yeah. by step. Again, you know, you don't have all the fancy bars and the fancy plates and all that sort yeah. of thing, you know. But uh, and I think sometimes training with the stuff that isn't quite as, you know, everything calibrated and the logs are all perfect. I think it can make you a bit stronger. If you look at the old days, the logs they used to do, they were just exactly, you know, literally a piece of a tree, you know. Uh, it's just train hard fight easy, isn't it? Exactly. That's it. <laughs> That's it. That's it. I, I do yeah. think sometimes we have it too easy. Mm. So I've got a few questions here from the fans. Okay. Uh, start with Evan. Um, what's your favourite event? Basic question, but it's a good question. Um, I'm a big fan of Circus Dumbbell. I really like Yoke and Farmers. Those would probably be my top three all fighting for the top spot as my favourite. Cool. No, I, I think this guy's going to say log, but I don't know. <laughs> Probably, yeah. <laughs> yeah, my favourite event is uh, log lift. Yeah. Of course. And uh, I love uh, Yoke. Yeah, and farmer walk. See, people for some bizarre reason, who think because you're so big that you're slow, mm. like like wrong. I made that. <laughs> I made that that like in the back of my head assumption uh, the first time that I ever did a giant show and we had exactly, car walk yeah. and we went together and you beat me. Yeah, <laughs> even I, I was shocked at that when, yeah. I, when you did the car walk and the frame. Like you beat Lawrence as well the first time, and Lawrence was mm. like. Yeah. Probably the best in the world, then. And I that. believe I'm faster now than before. Well, yeah, I'm also. Now, now you're only 199 kilos. Yes, I'm not <laughs> going <laughs> anymore, so I'm faster. <laughs> I don't. I, I love training log. I love. I love deadlifting, despite the fact that it tears blacks and hamstrings and stuff like that. I really like loading as well. I don't like training loading, but I like loading in comp, I like stones. I like. A, I just like training. I love all the events. Yeah. I like. I like loading in strongman because it, it means you you sort of compelled to keep quite fit as well. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? If you if you know you get too heavy and you don't do your cardio, loading's horrible, isn't it? Yeah. I think yeah. it's a nice incentive to not turn into an absolute mess. Yeah. Isn't it? Like, <laughs> yeah. Exactly. I think. Yeah. Uh, yeah I, I like the versatility of loading, the different influence, and you know it's really dynamic. It look. I think loading's always a cool one. I show done it. Everyone Definitely. really likes it. So. And if you if you're a bit more of a thinker, it comes across as well. How are we going to pick things yeah. up? And how are we going to load things? Um, who is your favorite person to compete against? For me, it's always been not really a specific person, but more of like a status. I like to compete against the best guys in the world because it keeps me consistently tested and it keeps me uh, humbled because sometimes I win, sometimes I lose. But it also it, it reassures me that I am I'm just at the, the top of the sport consistently competing against top three, top four, top five guys in the entire world and constantly just going to battle with them. That's what I enjoy the most because it brings the most out of me as an athlete. <laughs> okay, me, I love uh, being like the best of myself every time I compete. And uh, But for shows, I like going against Evan. <laughs> yeah. And uh, if possible, in Las Vegas... <laughs> I hope we meet again. Car walk. On the car walk. Yeah. And I'm going to kick your ass. Uh, well, yeah, so you don't cheat. Uh, I will not cheat. Oh, it's good now, pun this. Yeah. I, I just compete against my tendons, though. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and he loses. Yeah. Uh, I don't, the only person I can think of is when I've been like, oh, fucking, do you know Worlds 2020? I went out against Brian like, on a few yeah. events on log and stuff, and I beat him, to be fair. But it was one of them because I grew up like helping out the shows with Giants and stuff, been in the gym all the time, and the kind of real four figureheads of that era, like Eddie, Brian, Z, and um, Four, obviously the other three had kind of, I know Four's come back now, that'd be yeah. cool when he, when kind of he's doing the shows, but. Like, Brian was the one when I was, like, really getting in strongman and was loving it as a fan where we were like, 
fucking hell, man. You know, in the brain, sure. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? That was a cool moment for me. Yeah. Brilliant. Brilliant. So, another question here, a bit of a strange one, but it's interesting to know. Big Pavlo, um, he's wanting to come back to Giants Live. He, we're in contact with him, and and to, and to I thought he would be out for a long, long time because of the car crash and mm -hmm. the injuries looked really bad. Um, you know, what do you guys make of the return of Pavlo? He's meant to be back with us in 2025. Do you think he's going to come back as he was? I just looked today, believe it or not, before this at some of his training footage, and he looks really strong. He looks massive. Isn't oh, he? He's massive, isn't he? Well, All he's right. got to hold on strong to that nickname of Wide Pavlo. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think I I'd love for him to come back. For me personally, obviously, we had the entire powerlifting rivalry, didn't we, yeah. from like 2017, and then obviously. I was out been injured and useless whilst he was kind of coming up and doing really well and then obviously he had the car accident but yeah I'd love for him to come back I think he definitely can I think he's that much he's one of the freakiest people I've ever seen in my life I kind of put him he's not quite Bibby level but do you know one of them people okay, where you yeah. see him and he's like people like who's the freakiest person you've ever seen and it's He's got to be in the conversation. He's got a hell of a lot of muscle on him. Oh, God, yeah. Monster. Yeah, he's I built mean, like a steer. Yeah. <laughs> the scars he's got on him, though, from that accident are pretty serious. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think that's the thing, isn't it? That's not like... That's not a tendon surgery, is it? Mm. That's not a reconnecting this. You know, he's had... His, from what I can see, he's had most of his leg reconstructed and, you know, he's had, he's got scar any from yeah. the bottom of his stomach to the you know i think the doctors were saying he was actually going to die it wasn't about like oh can he do strongman again i think they were just worried about him still being able to just be alive but yeah if he does come back uh which i think he will it's a testament to him and fair yeah. play to the bloke i really hope he does and i, hope he I do back. yeah a hell of a road back from yeah that. definitely absolutely it's difficult enough anyway mm -hmm. without all that stuff happening to you yeah so i think if he can get back from that, I mean, we certainly want to see him back. Yeah. Well, he was always entertaining to watch. He 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 was so freaking strong. But yeah. the thing is, is he's like you. He's, you look at him; he's like huge. So obviously, he's going to be a static monster. Nah, Pablo can move yeah. too. He's yeah. fast. I mean, the the deadlift you guys are doing on Saturday night. He's actually got the record on that. He's like eleven, 11 reps yep. or something. Oh, it's yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Which is crazy. It, yeah. And it's not particularly the easiest to influence. You know what I mean? It moves mm -hmm. around a bit and all that, and he just absolutely minced it. That was over in, I think that was over in Glasgow. Right, and then he took yeah. his shirt off after, and he's just, <laughs> he just held <laughs> I'm, I've never seen how like his man. No. So, question for Bibby. Yeah. Will you be at World's Strongest Man 2025? If you can train, you can train me here. Yeah, I can, tra yeah, can train you. Yeah. Because uh, nice for to me to compete, uh, the, I need to be here for at least three months. Yeah. At least. Yeah. yeah. If I don't get that, it's hard. Yeah. Cool, cool. So is that a yes then? It's a yes. <laughs> but yeah. if you train me. So it's on me, yeah. Yeah, it's on fun. you. Cool. Um, so we've got this show next week. Um and then the one after that, two, three weeks after, we've got Vegas. Vegas. Two of you guys are competing there. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling for that? I'm feeling really good for it. That um, has come a long way in a relatively short amount of time uh, where I would go into a deadlift comp, like a max deadlift comp, and be like, all I want is a 1,000. I just want to pull a 1,000. That'll be good points for the whole show. It'll really put like that, that stamp of approval on how far my deadlift has come, but I feel like I can push past that at this point. I'm going into this comp wanting to deadlift more than a thousand. Does anyone else feel like a thousand pound is the new four hundred kilos? Yeah. yeah. It's outrageous. Because <laughs> I remember when I was yeah. competing, which seemed like a long time ago now. I remember like <clears throat> when I did four hundred kilos it was like just a few of us that had done it. It's you like, knew everyone yeah. that had done it and now it's like a thousand is actually probably more like there's more people done it. Yeah. As in like through the eras. Mm. all of a sudden it's just show up to so many people and it used to be like you, we get to that in the World Deadlift Championships like well two people might do it mm -hmm. and now it's like who isn't going to do it well I think it was only 20 it was 2015 was my first Giants Live over when I watched at Carnegie in mm -hmm. Headingley and I think four came second with 450 which yeah. isn't even a thousand pounds and then no. Eddie obviously pulled 463 which you know, to get good points in the show, you're looking at like what, like eight and a half, nine kilos yeah. to get decent points, and he was doing the world record. I've, I've been really impressed with how much Evans deadlifts actually yeah. improved. To be honest, it's yeah. been because it was never his best lift, was it? No. When he first kind of got into it, but then four forty raw, he's pulled a thousand a few times. I think he could definitely go over that. Definitely, yeah. 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 If everything's going good the day, uh, feeling good. Um, everything's clicking in the warm-up area. I think I can really push for the American record. You two have both got really good events, actually, thinking about it. Yeah. Dumbbell yeah. for reps, car walk. Yeah. I'm lift. very fast at dumbbell for reps, but, yeah. like, I know I can finish, like, top two yeah. in oh, yeah. the dumbbell for reps. And uh, also the car walk, 
Yeah, I think uh, I can win that event yeah, because I'm coming that. very solid. Cool. Yeah, I can give you the second place. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I, t- I tell you, he was still incredible at dumbbell. Is Novikov? Who, who, oh, oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, very fast. Yeah, because he's oh, so yeah. efficient. Yeah, that's that's the thing. It's like not so much be able to press that weight. He's he's sort of the way he changes between reps. He actually keeps hold of it and just keeps going and going. Mm-hmm. And it's going to be a hundred kilos, which is sort of standard weight now for that, isn't exactly, it? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. I think yeah. the wrecking ball holding that comp will be a good one as well. Yeah. Because obviously you've got Mitch who broke the world record. You've got Eddie and Novikov who both did a minute forty somewhere. Yeah. Obviously, Evan got injured in the first event, but he could be up there. And then, obviously, Bibby. I think Bibby's going to be brilliant. Yeah, can uh, I think so as well. I never did it, so I'm excited to well, try it. Well, the thing is with it, is people think it's grip. And obviously, you guys have done it, so you know. And I have a little go here as well, but I won't tell you my time. It's a bit embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, when you, get, when you lift it, you're not even thinking about your grip. Mm-mm. It just pulls your shoulders forward, and mm-hmm. then your legs start going. Well, I think when I did England's, I got to about 50 seconds, and I was like... I could put this down now. Yeah. And I think I did it like a minute 36. Do you yeah. know what I mean? I thought I were dying. Um, but yeah, it is, it's a, it's grip. It's not, it's not grip, is it? It's, I don't think it is. No, I don't think it is. You know, it's like, um, I mean, Mark thinks obviously very good at it. And yeah. Everyone just assumed Mark was going to just get the record on it. Whereas Hooper's got the record on it. Mm. And before that, it was Kevin Ferris. It was, yes, he's got a great grip, but he kept so rigid with it. Mm. Yeah. So it's quite interesting. And, and I just got, because Bibby's got a good grip as well. And I think, not the body not folding is a big thing yeah and obviously you're you're like square okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mr. Strong. Uh, yeah yeah i'm curious to see how i can uh, perform in that event it's a great event to watch for yeah. the, for the last part of it if that makes sense yeah exactly once everyone gets to a minute the pain on the face and uh i mean you're you're at uh, it's one of them england. do you know when i was actually doing it at england and i i I, you don't know. Obviously, you're a bit unconscious at the time, but I could. I knew it were hard, and I could feel my face screwing up, and I went, this is going to be on YouTube. I'm going to like write it to you. <laughs> <laughs> so we're doing it. It's, it's going, going to be back. the thumbnail to the video, uh, too. Literally, yeah. But <laughs> it, it's cool. I like events like that. Do you know ones that are proper gritty? Like, let's see what you got. Because yeah. obviously not necessarily the greatest person has to win it but I think you get to really see what someone's about. I think, I like mean, that, yeah. Hooper held on to that with his fingernails, to be fair, yeah, and like, right. like, whoever wins that, there's no luck involved. It's so no. simple. It's like stand yeah. there and hold it. It's, it's such a cool event. So looking forward to that. Right, guys, I'll let you go get on with your training and uh, get ready for uh, for Saturday. And best of luck to you all. Thank you so Thanks much. May the best man win and all that. Thank you. We'll see you there. See you uh, there. Live stream at Official Strongman. Some tickets still available at GiantsLive.com. Exactly. Cool.